بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام على رسول الله uh, In this lesson I would like to show you how you can create uh, points in AutoCAD and after that uh, save it in Excel file and after that go, um, bring it to Microsoft uh, sorry not Microsoft uh, advanced, steel, advanced steel program and make beams from only these points uh, okay here I, I uh, prepare this uh, grid in AutoCAD or in advanced steel this is the same thing uh, now I want to uh, get the point so uh, just write down P for pointers and click uh, here and shift for the rest of it and if the point is not like this if it does, doesn't show like this you can just uh, write down and sh I'll show you let mm, just let me finish this point is so okay now I have a point if, if uh, your point is not uh, shown just uh, write P type and click uh, maybe your point is like this you can change uh, whatever you want for this one for this one or for this one it's, it's up to you let's say for this one and you can uh, specify the size and ok you see now I have these points ok how can I uh, export these points to uh, this XY direction to uh, Excel it's uh, very easy uh, just uh, type data which is, uh, I want to bring data extraction and click here uh, I want to create a new data extraction so next I want to save uh, this one maybe name it as any name no problem save after that select object in current drawings so we want to these lines after that enter go to next what we have we have selected everything s circles lines points and SP lines these two are SP lines and the, the other lines and these circles so what we want and these are circles okay uh, what we want we have to uncheck everything except uh, points because, uh, because I want to uh, points so next here right click and uncheck everything uh, I want to just uh, X and Y position for the Z uh, it, because it's one uh, one dimensional uh, sorry it's a planner so uh, Z is zero so I don't need uh, z, uh, z after that next as you see it's like this I have uh, the points here X Y uh, points so uh, I can next again and save uh, from anywhere let's say test and save it next and finish after that I can uh, close this I can save no problem uh, and I want to uh, open a new project and before I start I have to go to arrange my uh, pointers in Excel so I don't need these two rows I want to delete them I don't want this leader uh, header so I want to delete, delete it and I want to change this one to numbers so I just select everything and click here convert to numbers okay now my file is, is uh, I prepared my file uh, but before uh, be sure that this name is very important uh, for later stages uh, that's why I'm going to double click here and control C uh, to copy this name okay now I can close everything uh, go to uh, advanced steel and open up dynamo uh, what I have I have an excel file so I want to uh, bring and read uh, from excel file uh, you see read from file this is excel.read from file so what I have here I have file sheet num name and I have read as string as you see if you uh, just uh, roll over with the mouse here you can uh, it tells you that this is a string okay this is a string 
and this is the sheet name that I uh, and copied before uh, so uh, the type is string so I have to bring a string okay just I need just only one and click here control V for paste this name and uh, connect it to this one what I have I have a file okay so what I can write uh, file maybe file path this uh, I need uh, a file path but a file from path I want to file from path why I, I need because you see I cannot uh, I, uh, this is the fi uh, file path and this is the file so file to file like this uh, from here I want to a path so this is the pass, uh, path of the file and so I can just uh, click here as you see uh, I open my uh, it, uh, it uh, automatically opens uh, Microsoft Excel anyhow uh, now I can browse here and I can bring my uh, file which is I save it as a name test I think yes here so uh, now I have uh, this file if you see now we have the points okay we can open that file here it's, op uh, it's already opened we have uh, 11,000 and uh, 23,000 which is X and Y for the first point so as you see here the first point the second point all of the points here exist which is uh, 30 point okay it's uh, 29 with uh, 0 is 30 points so I have uh, X and Y uh, but now I have to I have to uh, bring all of the X values or X, X, X uh, yes X uh, pointers in a list and Y and a list uh, Y because I want to uh, make points from them how can I do this I can use transpose which is at least transpose trans sorry trans transpose what this makes as you see it uh, converts row to column row to column so I have this one and if you click here you see now uh, every x axis uh, became list 0 and every y axis became list 1 you see here yeah, 11,000 11,000 and 5,000 5,000 and etc so now uh, this we have we have two lists which is list 0 and list 1 uh, list 0 contains x axis and list zero, uh, 1 contains uh, y axis so what I want to make I want to uh, bring points because I want to uh, make uh, points on x y axis and uh, points with uh, a z value which is the height of column so just control C control V we have these two values when uh, now we, uh, we have to get our x y and z points from this list I can get from this one um, uh, list 0 uh, which is uh, as I said it's x axis so I have to get, uh, use get from item as you see and for the index from list for list this one and for the index I have to use slider number or number slider I can move the, uh, this okay uh, from here uh, the step is one and the maximum is one uh, as well why because we, we have two lists from zero and to one zero one okay first I want to give uh, x uh, x value so I want to list zero after that I can copy these two so control C control V 
like this and I want to just uh, change this one to one I have to connect this one and again I have to connect this one okay that's very good uh, so I have now I have uh, X and Y values so I want to uh, connect this one to X value and this one to Y value but before I want to make this uh, I, I want to change this one to manual so it's not to crash uh, like this so uh, I could get points on uh, X axis uh, uh, on X axis uh, sorry X Y plane and now I want to give it to uh, the height because as we uh, discussed before we can create uh, beams with two points not only one point uh, the hi height uh, or just let me let me run this one so as to so as to know what I'm saying for this you see this is my points it's like this and this is like this so this uh, the point these are points on x y plane uh, I want to make points on x y plane with a z value so let's just bring number and give it a height of column maybe 6 meter to the z, uh, z axis uh, for this point is what I want I want to the same x y point just with a and height with x uh, yeah, z value so again here to here and here to here again run you see we have all these points now the only thing is remains that uh, I have to bring uh, advanced steel beams straight beam by two points and I want to bring y axis an axis for a vector connect this to this vector and for start point and end point now I uh, create my beams you can click here and run as you see now you have all these points it's the same as our grid it's very easy and very useful for uh, when you have large uh, when you have a large uh, or a, a, a big a big uh, building okay and so after that after that uh, we can we can make beams from this this uh, point is uh, of course we can we can make beams from from this point is we uh, we have to uh, give x and y value from uh, these uh, points we can only only make beams from from top uh, point is from here uh, when we have a multi-story building we can uh, create a beam uh, for this purpose uh, so uh, this is for today hope you enjoyed uh, guys don't uh, forget to share uh, this uh, uh, tutorial and uh, subscribe my channel thank you very